Hi, I'm the Scrub, and you're here for one reason. Well, we've at least stopped the Gordius Core from waking. This time, the Midas Core is stirring. Great. Actually, the mythical story of Midas is that everything he touched turned to gold. That wouldn't be so bad today, actually. Count me in. Also, does anyone else get the X-Files theme stuck in their head whenever the story mentions the Illuminati in this game, or is it just me? Time to learn about the Fist of the Sun. Simplified. Follow the walkway until you get to the engine room where you'll be launched up to a small platform via a vent into the very short 2D platformer section. Go to the left and take the vent up to the next platform where you'll be able to run forward and enter the arena. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Both Faust will use to move Kalt Straw, which is a cleaving tank buster, so don't stand with a tank. They don't have a lot of health, so you should be able to burst them down quickly. After you defeat both of them, there'll be a pulsating proximity AoE on the ground below one random party member. The next mob, Hummel Faust, will land in the arena with a room wide AoE. It will also do the cleaving tank buster Kalt Straw, but this will also give whoever is struck a stack of physical vulnerability up, so it's really best to not stand with the tank. It can also do a room-wide AoE called Panzer Shrek. After it has been defeated, you can jump down the hole and take the ramp to the final boss. In the middle of the room, this small post with a purple circle around it will rise out of the ground. When someone stands in it, it will cause that player to have a small dot tick, but the large needles on the left and right of the room will activate and create puddles on the ground. Keep this in mind for later. When aggroed, the boss will become McLarge Huge. This will give him the buff of Big Bulge Bigger Brain, which will increase his damage dealt and decrease his damage taken. It will begin to smack whoever is aggroed with Gob Jab. This will give stacks of headache, which will also act as a damage down debuff. If you get four stacks of headache, it will result in an unassumable concussion. This will render the affected player unable to move or perform actions, and damage taken will be increased. The boss will then wind up a big meaty right fist and smack whoever is targeted with gob straight. This is a straight line AoE tank buster. However, if you have the concussion debuff, it will hit you for 90% of your maximum health. The easiest way to solve this is for the off tank to provoke the boss just after the main tank gets the concussion debuff. This is normally known as a tank swap. This way, the off tank can stand out of the way and take the tank buster by themselves, and not risk both tanks getting damaged down for three full minutes. Shortly after this, the boss will lose the McLarge huge buff and become regular size. One random non-main tank party member will get a red marker over their head. This player will need to move away from the group, preferably to a corner, as they will have a medium-sized poison puddle splash at their feet, which will give you a nasty bleeding debuff as long as you're standing in it. Try to place the poison puddle in a corner or towards the back of the arena. A misplaced poison puddle can cause a wipe if people aren't careful. Following this, the boss will cast bombs away. This will have a massive smart bomb fall into the arena. It will have far too much health to destroy. Destroy. This is where one person will need to stand in the purple circle to activate the needles. Then a player will need to walk into the red puddle on the right side of the room, which will turn them into a gorilla. This player will need to target the bomb and use the action Browbeat to smack the bomb towards the far back corner of the platform and away from the rest of the party as it will explode in a very large AoE. Just in case, I recommend the party move to the opposite corner of the platform as if anyone gets hit by the bomb's explosion, it will damage them for 6,000 health and give them a Vuln stack. If you're the gorilla and you finish smacking the bombs, just press the potion icon labeled Apothecary and you'll return to normal. Shock Therapy is a room-wide AoE. When the boss becomes large and in charge again, it will cast the move Boost. This is where someone in the party will need to stand in the center circle before quickly moving to the purple puddle on the left, which will turn them into a bird, and then going back to the circle in the center to make sure that the puddle stays on the ground. This is where every single party member will need to become a bird. If you do not do this, the boss will begin smacking the ground with Gob Swing. Each hit is a big room-wide AoE with a knockback and a Volen stack for everyone who isn't hovering off the ground. So it's very important that you become a bird. As long as you're within melee range, you can continue damaging the boss with the boomerang-like icon on your hotbar called Wing Cutter. When the boss is finished smacking the the ground, just press the potion icon labeled Apothecary and you'll return to normal. During the fight, ads will spawn in. They don't have a lot of health and can be nuked quickly. From here, the boss will repeat mechanics until it has been defeated. Congratulations, you have beaten Alexander 5. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.